Hello friends, this video, sets part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. Before watching this video, you should have watched sets part 1 to part 9. There are some operations that we perform on set. The union of set, intersection of set, difference of set. What is union of set? Let there be two set A and B. Union means all the elements which are element of A and element of B. And the common element is taken only once. So to represent in mathematical form we say A union B is X where X is either element of A or element of B. Please note or is a crucial word here. When you say A union B it is A or B. We will take an example here. So what we will do, we will have a set A, 2, 4, 6, 8 and set B, 6, 8, 10, 12. Now we will write A union B. So what the first step is, we will write the first element 2, 2 is written, 4, 4 is written, 6, 6 is written, 8, 8 is written. Now I will write 6 but 6 is already there, we will ignore it. 8, it is already there, we will ignore it, then 10 and then 12. So this is A union B actually because it is all elements which are part of A or part of B. This is the solution we have. To represent the same thing in your Venn diagram, what we can do is, when we say A is 2, 4, 6, 8 and B is 6, 8, 10, 12. We see the common element is 6, 8. So that means we need a set where there is an intersection. So in this scenario, if we create a Venn diagram like this, it won't help because there is a common element between A and B. The common element is 6, 8, 8, 8 and 8. So we have created Venn diagram wherein the intersection is there. So first let's write the common element 6 and 8. That's how we draw a Venn diagram. We see the set, if there is an intersection, we create a Venn diagram like this. And then first we write a common element. And then we say A has 2, 4, 6, 8. 6, 8 is already covered. The remaining is 2, 4. We'll write this here. B has 6, 8, 10, 12. 6, 8 is already covered. So we'll write 10, 12 here. So this completes the representation in Venn diagram. Now what we do when we say A union B, A union B is everything in blue. Or everything in blue is A union B. So you write A union B is 2, 4. 6, 8, 10, 12. You see both are in blue. Oh, everything in blue is this and this is A union B. So you see the result which we obtain from the first method and from the Venn diagram method is same. Thus we can either use Venn diagram or we can use normal method. Properties of union offset. Some of the properties of union offset are commutative law. That means if I say A union B or I say B union A, both are same. I can prove this for you. This is a Venn diagram. This is A. This is B. Correct. So when I say A union B, I get this figure. This is the one which is in the shade. And when I say B union A, I get the same figure. That means a union B and B union A are same. This is the diagram for A union B. Let me redraw the diagram for B union A. This is B union A. This is A, this is B. And I say B union A is this much. So you see both the reasons are same. So A union B is similar to B union A. That is commutative law holds true for union of sets. Similarly, associative law, when you say A union B union C or A say A union B union C, both are same. I can draw this for you again. So, let's suppose A, B, C, there are three sets A, B and C. And again I will say create one more set, uh, Venn diagram A, B and C 
A, B and C. Now when I say A union, B union, C, so this is the first one, this is 1, this is 2, this is 2. So when you say A union B, so first we will create A union B, A union B is this, this much. And now we will say whatever you get, union of C. So we will say union of C. So what you get is this figure. Similarly when you try A union B union C, so first we will say B union C. So B union C is this figure, correct, this is B, this is C. B union C is all the element that is there in B and C. And then we say A union B union C, so we will add A union here. So what you get is same in both the case. That means associative law also holds true for union of sets. Similarly, A union phi that is empty set A. This is called law of identity. Let's let's take some example where set A is equal to 1, 2, 3. Now we have set A and set B is equal to 5 to prove our point. So A is having 1, 2, 3 and B is not having any element. So when you merge these two, you get a bigger set and there you get element 1, 2, 3 only because this is not having an element and this is equal to A. That's why you say when you do union of any set with the empty set, you get the set itself and this is called law of identity element. Similarly, when you say union of A with A, what you get is A. To prove this, let's take this example wherein A is 1, 2, 3. So this is 1, 2, 3. When I say union of A with the A, A itself, you get this set only. Correct? Here also, let's suppose we will say A is equal to 1, 2, 3 and B is also equal to 1, 2, 3, let's suppose here. Now A is equal to B, correct? Now when you say A union B, what you get is 1, 2, 3. This is 3. And this is equal to A. That's why you say A union A is equal to always A. And this is called inimportant law. Similarly, there is a law of universal. So if there is a universal set and you do a union of that with A, you get universal set. It's very obvious. For example, in set of throw of the, in the, when you throw a die, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And let's suppose this is a universal set for you. And A is nothing but all odd outcome, 1, 3, 5. Now when you say U union A, what you get is all the elements which are there in A and U. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 1, 3, 5 is already included. So we don't want to write this. So the final element is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if you see this, this is nothing but U. Let's repeat this once again. Commutative law, that is A union B is equal to B union A, holds true for any set. As we have discussed from Venn diagram. Similarly, A union B is equal to a union B union C is equal to A union B union C. This is associative law. This is also we have discussed from Venn diagram. Third thing, if you do a union of any set with an empty set, what you get is A. This is called law of identity. And when you say A union A, you get A. When you add A to A, you get A. When you do a union of universal set with a set A, what you get is universal set. Please note, we should remember this formula. Let's take some examples where we are doing a union of set. So we have a set A is equal to 1, 2, 6, 7 and B is equal to 6, 7, 11, 13. Start with what we'll do is we'll first write the first element of this 1, second element of this 2, third element of this 6, seventh element of this. Now we'll write this element 6. But 6 since it is already there and we should not write duplicates, we'll ignore this. 7, 7 is already there, we'll ignore this. 11 is not there, so we'll write this. 13 is not there in the list, so this is the final list of what is this? This is nothing but A union B. So you got what we have done. We wrote the first items of the first set, written, and then from the next set, We'll write all the element which is not there. 6 is already there, so we'll ignore this. 7 is already there, so we ignore this. 11 was not there, so we wrote this. 
13 was not there in the set, so we can so we got this as a union. Also, we can draw using Venn diagram. So how to do is let's create a Venn diagram, this rectangle. This will be a universal set. And now we have a union. We first see the common element. The common element is 6, 7. So that means the sets are intersecting. So we'll create an intersecting set. Set 1, set 2. This is set A, this is set B. And now first let's put the intersecting values. Intersecting values in 6 and 7. Now the element left in A is 1, 2. So we'll put 1, 2 here. And the element left in B is 11, 13. So we'll put 11 and 13 here. So this is not, this is the Venn diagram representation of set A and B. Now when we have to find the A uh, values of A union B, it is all the common element we have seen that is this this whole thing. So we can just write the element that is 1, 2, 6, 7, 11 and 13. So this is A union B from Venn diagrams. And this is A union B the normal logic. If you see both the answer are same. So we can solve this such kind of questions either using Venn diagram or using our normal logic. Both are correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free education videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.